When the night has come, the land is dark and the moon is the only light we can see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand by me, darling, darling, stand by me. Yahoo, YouTube! I'm Super Genki! And in today's video, I'm going to teach you Stand By Me by Elton John. But before I do that, let me tell you why you want to learn how to play this song. Talking to people is not easy. It requires a little le confidence, as the French would say. The most common misconception about this confidence is that it's primarily in the self not in what you have to say. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you're thinking, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, how am I going to talk to this person? Music's always got your back. Because music is a universal language that everyone understands. That's why you want to learn how to play music. It's a skill you can talk about. That being said, let's get into the video. So the chords you're going to need to play this song today are G, E minor, C and D. If you already know these chords, you can skip over here in the video. If you're new to guitar, it's helpful to note that there are these things called frets and strings. The frets are numerical. One, two, three, four, five. They are robotic. They don't have feelings. But the strings, oh boy, do the strings have feelings. And if you don't play them right, you're gonna hurt their feelings. That's why it's helpful to learn them by their names. Eddie, A, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie. This is a nursery rhyme that my guitar senpai, Drew James, taught me. E, A, D, G, B, E. The strings go from top to bottom. And the first letter of each of those words is the name of the string. Eddie, A, Dynamite, Good by Eddie. E A D G B E. Good, so now that you know the strings by their names, I'm going to teach you the chords. For the G chord, you want to take your middle finger and put it on the high E string of the third fret. You want to take your index finger and put it on the A string of the second fret. You want to take your ring finger and put it on the low E string of the 3rd fret and then strum down. Yay! For the E minor chord, you want to take your index finger and put it on the A string of the 2nd fret. You want to take your middle finger and put it on the D string of the 2nd fret. And there you go! For the C chord, you want to take your index finger and put it on the goodbye on the B string of the first fret. You want to take your middle finger and put it on the D string of the second fret. And you want to take your ring finger and put it on the eight A string of the third fret. Yay! And finally, for the D chord. You want to take your index finger, put it on the G string of the 2nd fret, your middle finger on the E string of the 2nd fret, and then your ring finger on the B string of the 3rd fret. Yay! And those are the four chords that you need to play Stand By Me. Now that we got the chords down, let's go into the rhythm. Down slap, 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 down slap. If you didn't pick that up, it's strum down, slap. Strum down, slap. Strum down, slap. Some down slap. 
So basically what the slap does is it mutes the strings and the sound. So you're going to want to do that four times for each chord. So G, down, slap, and switch, E minor, and switch, C, and switch, D, like that. That's the rhythm that's going to be playing throughout the whole song. Once you get the rhythm down, it can play it a little more fluidly, like this. You can start learning the words. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait, 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 stupid Gangi, isn't that a little too much for today's lesson? Nope, you've come this far, you might as well go a little further. Plus, it's actually really easy to sing and play the song at the same time because of the way that the words go along with the chords. You say the words first, then you do the strum slap. When the night has come, and the land is dark, and the moon is the only light you can see. Important note here, when you're singing, and the moon, the only light you can see. And the moon is only two strum slaps on the C string. Is the only light is only two strum slaps on the D string. And then when you finally say can see, it ends on the E string. I personally think that having the lyrics in front of you while you play along with the guitar is a great way to learn how to sing and play at the same time. So the final product, yeah? When the night has come. you know how to play Stand By Me by Elton John. So the next time you want to talk to someone, you can go up to them and say, Hey, I just learned how to play Stand By Me by Elton John. Isn't that really cool? Do you like music? I like music. Ha <laughs> ha. If you can say that with enough enthusiasm and ganky energy, you might just find yourself talking to someone new.